<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Happy Monday. Ooh, are you noticing something? Number one, <laughs> I'm shooting this on Monday. I actually said happy Monday without a pause and I swear to you, I did not come in here and look it up because I said I was going to surprise you guys. I actually do know what day it is. Oh, God bless you. I will say this. Oh, it's on both sides. I broke my favorite Black Lake Tahoe cup yesterday. I was so upset and there were so many swear words that came out of my mouth. I did ask God to forgive me. Um, that is my, one of my favorite, favorite cups. Anyway, um, I know it's Monday because today is the first day. I just did this tweet. I can't lie. I saw it on Pinterest and then I tweeted it out. I didn't claim that I made it up, but somebody said, maybe I put it on my blog yesterday. Somebody said, you know, they say that today's the first day of the rest of your life. And someone said, today is the first day of the best of your life. And I've been talking about that as I've been getting so amped about starting my new training, my new training program, my new training program. Oh, squirrels out there. He just goes and sits out there now because I have a squirrel proof feeder. It's kind of sad. I should buy him some bread or something. Um, anyway, I've been so excited and that, um, that's kind of what I've been feeling like is that I've, I felt that in several different time periods of my life that ha, have you ever had this sense that you're entering into <laughs> I sound like a Star Trek ad right now a new dimension but you just feel like you know you're shaking off part of the past or like a tough time period and you're entering into a new chapter if you will call it what you want but I've certainly felt that before I remember I felt that before um, when I moved into my new house after I'd been renting, I lived in an apartment over by O'Hare Airport, right behind a gas station. <laughs> That's what you can afford when you work in the hotel business. I'm getting way off track, but that always happens. So I lived over there near O'Hare and then I, my, I bought my first house out in, and I moved further out in the suburbs, but I remember I was like, this is a new beginning. I feel like there's gonna be some good things happening. And that was that time period where I met my ex-husband. And then, <clears throat> I'm sorry, so that was a new time period. I call it indigestion. <laughs> and then there was a new time period. After that, actually, that was kind of rough for, you know, I mean, going through divorce is not um, what, it's kind of like a root canal. You do it and you're like, wow, I had to do that, but would I go back and do it again with open arms? Would I go back and eat that piece of pizza that I had over the weekend that gave me serious, serious bloating where I was like, dang, I, I can't lie. I had more than one piece. I had several things of gluten this weekend. Um, my dad's, uh, by choice, I wasn't binging or anything, but I also knew that I was starting my new program. So there was a little bit of me that was like, I'm gonna enjoy a few pieces of something because I didn't wanna go extra grocery shopping. And so I, I really was, I was, focusing in and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a few, um, a few treats over the weekend, whatever. My dad makes this thing. Um, I don't even know how you pronounce it, but we call it because the real name is like something Slovak. Martin, you would probably know how to say this. Um, it's like potizia or something like that. I, I have no idea how to pronounce the, the real ethnic stuff that my dad makes. Um, but usually it ends in SKI, like Holubski, Blubski, Bobski, you know, it's like something it's got a lot of cabbage in it, usually. Um, Cassandra, you know what I mean. Anyway, he makes this nut roll every year at Christmas time. That is, I, I could have case, I could eat cases of this. And I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm guessing that per inch of nut roll that you, because it comes in a, it's a roll, obviously. But I'm guessing that per slice, it's probably like a billion calories. It's just outrageous. It's a ton of, he, whenever I go over there, he's like, oh, Kelly, there's so much eggs and butter and nuts and sugar in there. It's like, thanks, Dad. Thanks for letting me know. And he's like, take a whole roll home. I'm like, this is why I'm not taking a whole roll home, Dad. Because it would just be me by myself at night going, is there anything left? <laughs> so I let myself have some of that. Um, and then I, I did order pizza. Um, and I did have more than one slice, which usually um, I will stop at one. But I had, I just remember two, several times over the weekend, I had pizza. I had some pizza. I had the, um, the nut roll. I don't know if I had anything else. Oh, I think I had some of my brown rice pasta. Anyway, whatever it is I had, 
horrific stomach aches all weekend. Um, serves me right, but it did, it did remind me in a way like I really, I like what I'm eating with paleo and for the most part, I think having an occasional, you know, this or that, you know, bagel, burger with, you know, the bun on it, whatever, is fine, but like more than one thing and this stomach, it's like, it's just nasty. So, there's that. Back at it today, but, a couple of funny things. So today is the first day of the best of my life, which I truly believe. And I'm so excited about it, just for several reasons. You know, I've certainly, um, I've certainly had guidance before, okay? I've certainly had someone like, you know, Jenny Lynn or whoever, um, Jay, when Jay was up here and he was training me at Lifetime. Um, I've had great guidance in the past, but I do, I certainly don't know that I've ever had um, a program customized for me so specifically like I do right now um, and, and by people that I respect so highly um, Dr. Mike and um, Todd doing my training and the funny thing is is that in the past if I've ever had something and I would ask someone oh you know I just I'm stuck here I feel like I'm not losing weight you know I, I don't know that anybody, I ever felt like anybody was really listening. And they go, sure, if you want to do extra cardio, sure, just do it. Or, oh, if you want to eat that, sure, that's fine. Kind of like my doctors for a couple of years when I kept insisting that I had something hormonally wrong with me. And they're like, oh, no, let's just put you on Accutane or something for that rash on your back. And it took somebody to actually listen to me. I asked um, Todd last night because I knew I was starting this today. This is day one. And I asked Mike and I copied Dr. Mike, excuse me, I asked Todd and I copied Dr. Mike on this and I'm like, I just want to make sure because I'm telling you guys, when I look at this, I highlighted some things I had questions for him on. Um, it has me doing my, my cardio. So today is back and biceps, a different back and biceps than I've ever done. Um, and then day two is cardio and conditioning. Day three is legs. Day four is cardio and conditioning. Day five is pressing day. And day six is legs again, and then day seven is off. But I was like, I'm only, I'm not lying. Like my first thought was, I'm only doing cardio three times. So I wrote him last night, and I copied Dr. Mike, and I'm like, I just want to make sure. Can I do any extra running? Can I, can I? And he's like, and I love his response. It was so cool. I'm a nerd. I get excited about dumb things. Maybe it's not dumb. But he wrote me back, and he's like, no. Both of them were like, no, no more cardio. And they said, and um, Todd goes, we have to get you strong first. So get strong first, extra cardio later. And both of them told me in different ways. Like the point is, is to not go full blast, adding all of your cardio at front, at the front, because then say you're not losing fat or whatever, what are you gonna add, you know? And, and so what you do is you start off with your, your base program. We can add more cardio later if we need it, but it's more about strength and conditioning and you know, your right diet. So. I'm trusting what they say, I'm doing exactly what they say, and I'm answering them, I'm answering to them every day. And I went to bed last night, and it's so funny because I so knew in my head, this is it, starting the program. Um, I'm answering to these guys every day, on Twitter, privately, publicly, in every possible way. I'm sharing everything with you guys. And I went to bed last night, and it must have been on my mind more than normal, because um, Saturday, I wasn't feeling well, I was starting to get a cold, and I felt like my friend uh, up in Boston Dutch, he had had a cold, and I felt like I caught his cold from like far away. Can you catch a cold from texting? I don't know. Anyway, so I went to bed really early Saturday night, let myself sleep in. I slept in until 11, 11 in the morning on Sunday, but clearly my body needed it. It's probably also a little bit the new Technogel mattress that I have that is literally like being in a cocoon. I think I was sucking my thumb while I was in, you know, in bed. I might have or might not have been. But anyway, I slept in and then when I went to bed last night, after watching the newborn movie several times over, which is quite pleasurable, um, I went to bed and I remember I was still feeling just a little bit of like, am I getting a cold? So I didn't set my alarm and I'm like, I'm gonna let myself sleep in. So I slept until eight, but all, all last night I was having these dreams. Unfortunately, they weren't about um, Jason Bourne, the newborn guy, 
Um, sadly, they were about me missing going to the gym. My whole entire dream series that I had last night was about I was out and about and I wasn't getting my stuff together and there was, I think I was mentally thinking of these papers and, and in my dream I couldn't find my papers and I was just looking for my plan and I was trying to get to the gym and I was like, oh crap, I'm not gonna get to the gym on Monday and I knew I was gonna have to tell Todd and Dr. Mike and I was like, oh my God, and that was like my whole, my whole dream. And then, of course, in the middle of everything, do you hear the music playing? Okay, so I'm out in my, this is my kitchen in my condo and then over there is my family room and that's where I have my iPod and my um, my music. In the middle of the night, this happened one other time when there was a storm, in the middle of the night there must have been a power surge or something because this thing turns on by itself. So in the middle of the night I'm in this deep sleep and I hear Josh Grove and Christmas and I'm like, what? Now it's a good thing I was really asleep because if I was not asleep I would probably be thinking I was in a horror movie, horror not horror movie. And I really would have been scared going, who's out in there? Who's out in my living room? But I just came out here like, you ass! Why are you waking me up? And I shut off Josh, Josh Groban and that was it. Ugh, oh, love my coffee. Um, I do have a couple of things on my counter because I know that some of you guys have been asking specific questions and I said that I would answer it in my Monday video. So here you go. A um, couple of you wrote to me and asked me something that I have had the same fears, if you will, in the past. And some of you said, you know, I saw a training program in Oxygen, or I saw this in um, like someone's blog, you know, and I wanted to go to the gym and do this workout, but I don't know what some of the moves are, and I don't know what machine to use, and I don't know how to do it, and whatever, and I'm too scared to ask. <laughs> and I'm just going to tell you, there are certain things on here. Um, and the first time I went back to my lifetime after having not worked out in the meathead room for a while, and yes, I call it the meathead room, um, they'd moved around, they, they brought in more equipment than they had before, a lot of cool equipment actually. Um, so everything was in a different place than when I used to train there with Jay. And I was a little like, why did you move that over there? Where is it? But. I have been just as uncomfortable, I think, as anybody. When you go and you don't have familiarity and you don't know where something is or it's your first time in, in a certain area, it, it can seem intimidating because whether they mean to or not, yeah, all of the guys in that area, especially if you're a woman and you walk in there, they kind of look, and I don't think they mean to, but they do, they look at you like, what are you doing in my room? Like, like they think you're lost. They think you're gonna be like, excuse me, can you tell me where the uh, treadmill is, please? Or like, where's the dance class? And then they think you're gonna leave. So they actually don't think you're there. You need to just get over that and realize they're not mean, they're not gonna hurt you, and they're not gonna get mad if you stay. Um, they just can't help themselves. They stare at people that aren't men. So, Get over feeling like you are a total jerk or an ass for asking a question. If I walk up and I see um, a machine that I want to get on and there's two guys on it just yakking and talking on their phone, whatever, I'll just walk up and say, excuse me, are you guys going to be on here for a while? Or if I'm putting my towel down on something, like if I'm using two machines and I kind of see a guy like eyeing my machine, I'll just ask him. I'm, I'll take my, my headset out and I'll say, do you need to get on here? If you, if just, <laughs> they're just people. And the second that you start getting comfortable asking the people in that room, in, in the meathead room, or just in the gym at whole, you know, asking a question like, can you guys help me? Am I doing this wrong? Like, I'd rather, just be honest as opposed to, I think it's worse to go into those areas wherever you are and acting like you know everything and acting like you don't need to ask a question, that's when you're gonna get hurt. So I'd rather you know, err on the side of asking questions. No one is gonna get mad at you and be like, ah, why did you ask me a question? No one is gonna do that to you. Um, but the more you get comfortable asking, the more it's fine and, and, and you'll just get used to it and then people will help you and you will make friends because if you tend to go to the gym at the same time, you'll start to see a lot of the same people that are there at the same time. And it becomes like a big group hug. Sometimes an awkward, long pause group hug. But you know, I've got some stuff on here that, I, that I've got for today that I've never done before. Um, and some of this stuff like I haven't, I'm trying to think of what's on here specifically that was freaking me out. 
um, you know, like sometimes, okay, like I'm going to be doing some, some dumbbell curls and hammer curls today. Um, and you know, you need a bench for that. You might walk into the meathead room and, and all the benches are taken. So in that case, you know, you're either going to have to find a different place to use your, your dumbbells or ask somebody like, is there any way, like how long are you going to be on there? Dumbass or <laughs> don't say dumbass. Then you might get hurt. I'm just kidding. They wouldn't hurt you. But anyway, the more you get comfortable, like don't act like you don't belong there. This is particularly true for ladies. Ladies, stop being scared. Just ask questions. People are more than willing to help. In fact, they're probably hoping that you'll talk to them. They probably um, would love the conversation. So that was, you know, one of the questions that I got. It, if you, it doesn't mean that you have to have a trainer. It's wonderful if you have a trainer. My trainer lives in Washington, D.C. Okay, so we're doing this all virtually. Would I love it if Todd was here and I could train with him in person? more yes would i love it if jay could could be here from boca instead of working out at the boca lifetime fitness hell yeah in the meantime this is what i have okay make do with what you have and then secondly i've had about 15 of you write me over the weekend and ask me to be very specific about what i am taking and i realized i probably should have gotten a box out for this um for supplements but crap I wonder if I should just bring you guys over with me. I'm bringing you with me. See my Christmas tree over there? Because um, I'm going to show you what I have in my... We've got this. We've got... Hold on. My Physio Burn so I can show you everything. See, this is like my supplement. Um, probiotics. Um, I think this might be everything that I'm going to talk about. But see my little... You see up in there? Ooh, that's where we keep all of our, our goodies. <sighs> Egg protein, which I love. But here's the thing about protein powder. It's always nice to have a selection, okay? I love this egg protein. I'm just gonna bring that over with us. Hopefully I'm not gonna drop all this stuff. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so let's start with supplements. And again, oh, I don't have my, my diet plan here. Um, Dr. Mike wrote out, he knows, he, he knows, he knew, he knows exactly what I have. What time? I'm already at 17 minutes. Let's make this snappy. Um, so uh, I get up in the morning now. Usually what I do, what I found works for me, guys, you got to find out what works for you. Some people get up and they have their coffee and their breakfast all at once. I tend to have my coffee and, and drink for a little bit with bourbon, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Only on Wednesdays. And um, then I have my eggs a little bit later. I don't like to have my, I like to do this. I like to have my coffee when I finish my vlog, because now I'm vlogging in the morning and blogging in the morning, because I'm taking time for me. Um, then I sit down and I read my, uh, I have my quiet time, I have my devotions, I turn the radio off say my prayers, get ready for the day. But here's, here's what I take every day. So after I've had my breakfast, um, I take my first set of vitamins. So I take one uh, Vitapack. So this is GNC Vitapack for the active woman, the ones that smell, because vitamins smell. Um, and then I also take the first pack of Genetics HD Physio Burn. So I take these two plus my probiotic, and I think Mike asked me to take a high quality or something, high something, fish oil, in addition to that. Then I also have, you can see I just put these in a little ramekin, so I can set them out on the counter and then I know what I've taken or what I haven't. Then I take another physio burn at like lunchtime with my meal, okay? So those are the, the pills that I take, the vitamins that I take. Um, at night, Dr. Mike has me taking this. Um, there's several brands, this is obviously a GNC brand, but he wanted me to take zinc, magnesium, aspartate, take it before bed. It's nighttime formula to provide metabolic support, hops and valerian to promote restful sleep. I'm all about that. Um, then I take, this is the powder that makes my nice splashy blue drink. I take this before my workout. I take this, during or after my workout, branch chain amino acids. Um, here's something funny. This is really embarrassing that I'm putting this on my vlog, but I'm just putting it out there. I told Dr. Mike, because he's like, you can have unlimited green vegetables. 
And I said, I really like broccoli, but it gives me a stomach ache. And of course he answered in this very scientific way. Um, I wish I could say what he said. He's like, well, that's because there's a polysaccharides that blah, blah, blah. You should just get Beano. And I'm like, Beano is for people that have gas. I don't want to buy that. And he's like, well, cauliflower and broccoli have an undigestible carb in there and, and Beano helps it. And I was like, I don't want to go to Walmart and buy Beano. They're going to look at me funny. See how stupid this is? But I actually did. <laughs> by Beano, but here's the thing. This, I was reading the description, you guys. This is not for people that have like, you know, I was thinking this is what you, you buy. It's kind of like having Prilosec or stomach pills. It's like some people eat that and they know that things upset their stomach and then they take it anyway. And I don't believe, like I've always thought, why not just avoid the food that upsets your stomach? But if it's broccoli and cauliflower, which are vegetables, I want to be able to eat that. But this says, it says Beano Meltaways is a vegetarian friendly formula that contains a natural enzyme that breaks down the complex carbohydrates found in many foods, making them easier to digest so they don't cause gas <laughs> or bloating. Let's just say bloating. I don't like the word gas. Um, but anyway, I did buy this because they say it's good for, see, there's broccoli and peppers on there. It's not like, I guess I thought that people bought this for like, you know, fake foods or whatever. Last thing, you guys have been asking about protein powders. Um, I think it's definitely nice to have a selection. Here's the thing. I love GNC egg protein. I do not like the vanilla. I like the chocolate. This is great, especially if you travel because you only have to mix it with water and it tastes great. Here's the bad about it. I've tried mixing it with like almond milk, not so much. So it's great for when I travel, because all I gotta do is take my shaker cup, um, does not cook well, and neither does the GNC Amp that I use. So the GNC Amp that I have in there in vanilla is great for smoothies and protein shakes, not to make protein pancakes. That is, I think, where I'm gonna start using like the BSN protein powder. So it's nice to have a selection because all of them have different properties and you know, some of them are whey isolate, some of them are strictly more casein. So always look at the ingredients and then you've gotta like test it out and find what you like. I'm at 22 minutes, you guys, and this has been like huge. I have to go. I thought maybe this might be a 10 minute vlog, but hey, for those of you on the treadmill, you can get off now um, because you've had a really nice 20 minute workout while I'm like, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm off to the gym.